I'm ready to open up the hood if I can. Okay, hold on, another wire. So here's the moment, guys. So what do we have here? Let's see what we have purchased. So I see a little hole right here. This is the engine cover right there, guys. But that, nothing else. I don't see any other problem on the motor. I think that can be replaced really easily. And it looks like it's a, some kind of fiberglass engine cover. Um, I see that one, two, two coils are damaged on this. Guys, there, nothing else. I don't see any other problem. Well, this can be replaced. Here is the moment of truth. So today is the day when I will try to start uh, the shaker engine. And I have to pull some of the parts of the motor that I have right now just to test it out because we have the valve cover on the motor um, with a little hole. I already have the valve cover, the, you know, the top engine valve cover, but I want to get some parts of this motor right here. This is the motor that I have available right now. Instead of buying the parts right now, I just want to test them. I want to test the engine first. So I'm going to pull these two coils right here. And um, what else I needed? Two coils. And I need a throttle body unit right here. This one uh, also, the electrical part is damaged on the other motor. So I'm going to take this off just for now, just to test the motor. And then we'll put everything back on. guys we're heading towards the shop right now and we're gonna try to start that motor right we got the parts what kind of motor the shaker the, the dodge dodge challenger shaker i got the parts i think we should be successful with that yeah hey we'll show you guys the whole process okay guys this is the moment of truth come closer Nikki. This is what we need to do. <clears throat> we need to re remove this. Over like this. This is the valve cover right here. Oh. This is the brake lines. But I need them. So the, the here is the valve cover, and I'm gonna replace that. And I have to replace two coils. And after that, we're gonna try to start the motor. And I don't see any other damages. And this is the throttle body right here. That needs to be replaced too. I brought all the parts. What about this? Is it that? Yeah, that, that, that's nothing. Uh -huh. So here's the throttle body. And this is, is the it, two coils. Is this from like the Dodge Dodge? Yeah, this is the same from the same motor. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to go into the van and bring the, the valve cover. Open the side door and you'll see it there. Okay guys, I just removed the valve cover and uh, I don't see any damage on this. Nothing, just a little dust went through the hole and everything is clean right there. And we're gonna install the valve cover back and here is a new one that I'm going to install. And after that, we'll change the throttle body. It's always hard to say. We're gonna change this because this 
plastic right here broke off maybe it's gonna work like that but uh, I want to put another one so okay let's continue working Okay, so here is the moment of truth. Let's see this motor. So it's a shaker right here, 60,500 miles. And I'm gonna try it. stable there you go guys the motor runs nicely as you just can see if I block this hole right here starts working really nice okay I will shut it off right now I don't want to run it without water without any coolant there you go guys this motor runs nicely and now we got some oil spills that I gotta take care of that's a power steering fluid right there so the big manifold has a little hole right here it sucks the air so but overall the motor works great Okay, that's a good good deal okay thank you guys for watching all right guys thank you for staying with me I replaced that valve cover to two spark plugs coils one throttle body and with good battery this motor just started really quick really easy you guys saw in the, in, in the video it runs great I think that's gonna be another cool project for me to actually sell and if you guys are interested this motor trainee complete swap will be listed in our ebay store down below or check our website advancedbay.com that's where we're going to list our parts this is where they're going to be available for sale um, the price please stay tuned for the price once we have list listing created we'll put the price but if you are interested about this motor let me know in comments below and just let me know if you are interested and you know we, we can just do a direct sale too it's that's possible also thank thank you guys for watching thank you for um for the support that you guys come back to my channel and watching this you know short videos of my life of what i do um thumbs up like the video share the video and don't forget to leave those comments you know after the first 10 comments I'll, I'll do a raffle and um one of you can win something just please stay stay tuned thank you goodbye see you guys later